Hi, today we are going to be discussing and showing you our way that we um, trim hoofs. <laughs> today our model is Skylar, a little Skylar. Um, she's had her bath for mites. Um, this was her second bath, so she's kind of just <laughs> laid out and snuggling. She's ready for her bottle. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's like, feed me my bottle. Um, but as we noticed today, she's never had a hoof trim. Um, and so you can see how her little hoofs are starting to curl over. Um, and we're going to show how to get these perfectly level and um, trimmed. So here are the tools that we use. This is going to be just the regular hoof trim, the hoof shears from Tractor Supply. And um, we'll use this, you know, first to actually get some of the, the length cut off. Um, then the next two that we have um, are going to both be rasp that you buy from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, this is a first a small uh, wood rasp. As you can see, there's the rasp part. Um, and this is a small one. Um, and here is the larger wood rasp that you will find at Home Depot or Lowe's. And I find these work really good to help you get that nice real level hoof. All right, so we're gonna get started. As stated, um, she's never had a hoof trim before. And we've got her kind of laid out here um, on the on the side and um she's just real comfortable now that's going to be your best thing most goats you're going to have in a head station or you're going to secure them somehow right now just for videoing purposes we have her here so as you see um the hoof all of this is grown and kind of rolled and you'll see that with uh, goats that one she doesn't go outside to wear this off two if you don't do hoof trims regularly your hoofs will start to curl in they'll get really long um, so the way to go and tell that you how you're going to cut is you actually can raise this hair up here and you're gonna look at their the band okay so her band is going like this if y'all can see and y'all want to keep your trimming straight with the top of her hoof, the hoof band right here. So you don't want to cut like this and follow this natural. You don't want to get it wonky in the first place. So we're going to look at this as our guide. Um, I don't know, Kat, can you show to make sure that they can see? So if you're looking at the hoof, and so that's her hoof, you're going to raise that up. You're going to look how her band right here grows, and you're going to trim the hoof accordingly so you don't want to trim with the natural slant that it's doing because then you're going to actually be too high on the heel and you're going to be too long in the toe so that's why it's really important when you're trimming and you're doing your first initial cuts to make sure that you're staying parallel with that band there and so all of this and then see how i'm going to cut that tip right there off to stay level with that so I'm, when I'm actually cutting, I'm not going to be talking much, um, but afterwards I'll be happy to answer anybody's questions. Um, so we're going to get started, and here we go. Mm -hmm. So I said I wasn't going to be talking much, but I do try to get up under my, my first cut. I'm not. I'm just going to try to kind of cut the the roll off before I actually cut and do the trimming. So I've cut the roll off there. Now I'm going to look. Gonna double check my work to make sure that that looks like it needs to come off. God bless you, cat. Thanks. To make sure that I've got it already from there to there. It looks like it, the tip needs to come just a hair off. And I'm not gonna worry about all this jagged. That's what the rasp is for. All right, now I'm going to cut in between um, because you want to put your shears here, and this isn't long on her but you would snip there to make sure that you have nice flat hoofs like that. Um, I'm gonna take just a tad of this hoof off right there. Now that's as far as I'm gonna trim with my shears. Now I'll go do this opposite side before I actually start using the rasp. I'm just gonna cut the excess off first. Then I'll go back. And since I already had kind of have my guide, I don't have to keep looking up there. I've done this once or twice, so I'm just going to go ahead and start chopping.
Okay. So that's as far as the trimming will do. Now I'm going to take my rasp and as you see, they're kind of jagged. They're not, they're not even, they're not smooth. See how kind of like rough and you know, it's really hard to try to level it out with the actual hoof shears to take the length off. So we'll take this and we will start with them pinched together. See, I'm going to grab them, make sure that they're, they were level in the middle. So if you can see that, so they're level in the middle. So I'm going to pinch them closed like so. And I'm going to take this on both of them. And it doesn't matter which direction you go. Now this small rasp works great for kids or soft hoofs. Um, if you had a lot of correction, I would actually switch to this one. Um, if it had, you know, a, a, of course, um, this right here, it seems to take a little bit more off um, and I don't want to make her sore. So this wasn't really actually needed, but on a um, more mature goat, or one that I was trying to do corrective hoof trimming, um, then I would actually switch to that one. Now, um, like if you're doing this monthly or everything and you just want to kind of touch them up, I love this one just to kind of push them together, you know, and you can kind of just touch them up and keep them in tip top shape, especially if you're showing um, before, you know, LA, um, you know, just trying to get them and you can kind of see like she's never had so she's not going to be perfect because she's this is her very first hoof trim so she's not going to actually be like perfect like some of my other does that I work with um, but this is her first after about the third time they'll be actually perfectly level but as you can see from the get-go how nice and straight they are I don't know if you can see from this angle um, but can you see can you are you getting the angle nice <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yeah let me see this let's stand her up so they can kind of see the difference of her standing she's sleeping oh she went to sleep on us <laughs> skylar <laughs> <laughs> i think she liked her beauty treatment look she's sound asleep so we can't stand her up but you know what maybe, <laughs> maybe i'll take a picture of her standing so you can see how well, well you can see like <laughs> curled and how it looks like a rounded long toed and that's like kind of like a curved to straight and you can see how nice and straight that is and they're both level so maybe that so I'm not going to do all of them but that was the gist that's like basics on how we do the hoof trims here um, and it took you through making sure that you check the band making sure that you keep it level, taking the excess off, and um, anyway, that's that. So there's Skylar. Say bye, Skylar. <laughs> She's like, oh, what are we doing here? All right, thank y'all for watching.